Hi guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me for this a wig review. I am going to share with you, I know it's a different color for me, but oh my gosh, I really like this. I'm going to share this wig with you and it is a Gabor. I've never had a Gabor before and this is called Flatter Me. Now, I'm not too sure if it flatters me, but I do like it. So if you're interested in this wig review, stay tuned. My gosh. So let me just tell you a little bit about this wig. Um, this is Flatter Me by Gabor and the fibers on this are absolutely beautiful. They are, um, I don't know how to really describe it, but it's part of the Gabor Luxury Collection and it is called Flex Light, which is a lightweight it's a light denier fiber, and it is just really, really pretty. It's very comfortable. So when it says it's lightweight, it really is. It's not a heavy weight fiber. I don't feel weighted down. I actually feel pretty light. I think this would probably be really pretty in maybe a blonder shade for me, something with chunky highlights but I think this is amazing. So, so I'm gonna show you the inside of the cap so you can see exactly what it looks like. It is a 100% hand-tied full monofilament top. I love it. It has a temple to temple sheer lace front. Take a look at this. And when I show it to you in a few moments, you'll see how it looks on my forehead. It has velvet ear lined, velvet lined ear tabs, really pretty. It has an extended nape, a velvet lined extended nape, super, super comfortable. And there are some ultra thin adjusters at the nape, so you can let it out a little larger if you want. This is part of the luxury collection and the fiber is called Flex Light, and oh my gosh, it definitely is light. This cap size is average. The front is about five and a quarter. The crown is nine inches. The sides are seven and a half, roughly. The back six, and the nape is five, and the weight of this is only 3.4 ounces. 3.4 ounces. I think that's amazing. So let me show you the temple to temple lace front. Now, when I first got this, I put this on and I noticed that there was little short fibers. Uh, almost kind of looked to me like baby hair along my temple when I put this on, along the lace front. And I thought, wow, you know, is this a mistake? And then I kept thinking, I thought I heard that somewhere. I thought I heard someone mention that. So I did a quick search and Taz had reviewed this wig and she said the same thing on her piece that there was little short fibers and she thought, she wasn't too sure if it was gonna be standard or if she just got an odd one. Well, if she got an odd one, I got an odd one too. I have all these little tiny fibers. And I, they do look very, the lace front looks very, very realistic. I have not added any, any kind of like concealer or anything on the lace front. I didn't feel the need to do that. I think the knot's are very fine. I, I'm really super impressed with the lace front of this. And the ear tabs, this goes right up. You'll see some of my bio hair here. I have a 22 inch circumference. This is average. I have not let it out. This is exactly how it came out of the box. And the only thing that I did to this, because it had box hair, I soaked this, I did a very gentle soak in cold water. And when I say soak it, I don't mean an hour. I mean, I dipped it, I probably, it was probably in cold, a cold water bath for maybe 10 minutes, if that. I didn't add, wash it, I didn't add any shampoo, I haven't added any dry shampoo, other than the cold water soak initially. And I did that because I thought it had a lot of box here. You know, when I looked at it, it was like kind of funky. And so the cold water bath, I let it dry nicely, naturally on a wig head. And then when I put it on, I it's more flatter, it comes down more. But, you know, I like it 
to be up a little bit. So I just use the heat of my hands, basically, and I just flip this up. And it, I think it just lays really super, super nice. So I've done nothing, no thinning, no nothing. I'm gonna show you some outside shots right now so you can see me walking around the yard. So this color is listed as GL1416. And you can see there's a lot, in my opinion, there's a lot of warmth in this. The golden blonde, I think, is a real warm color for me. And I actually think that I'm seeing a lot of brown, more brown to me. This is more brown to me than any blonde. So 14, 16 GL. The blend is just really nice. There's no harsh highlights at all. Just super, super nice. So I wanted to share this color with you and also I want to say a huge shout out to my wig bestie, Marlene Fab and Glam, uh, Marlene Wig and Chat Studio. <laughs> Anyways, Marlene sent this to me so I could experience a Gabor. I've never owned a Gabor and also I, she thought I would really like the style. I do. I like this style a lot. I could see myself wearing the style. The color not quite 100% for me, but I think it's growing on me. What do you think? Do a spin so you can see the back. So thank you all so much for joining me here and watching my wig review. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.